Okay, why is it important to have a salt bath before healing? Lots of people ask this question. I'm anyway getting healing. Why do I need to have a salt bath? Now, the simple thing that I can give an example for is, let's say that you're adding something beautiful in your home, right? You want to clean it up first before you add new furniture there. You want to mop it, you want to sweep it, you want to do all of the above because you don't want all of that good stuff. Let's say you're trying to spray perfume. You don't want that to be like a bad stench in your place. So similarly, your aura has tons of negative energy. And if you're going through healing, the best way to receive healing is if you've done one round of cleansing with that salt bath and then you receive healing. It's like your aura suddenly has an open space, like vacuum. It almost has like this, you know, clean energy to kind of absorb divinity. It's not that if you have a dirty aura, it's not going, the healing energy is not going to work for you, but it's just more effective. So before a healing, always try to take a salt bath. Make sure it's BMR salt. You can find it on my online store, shop.sheela.com. Or if you don't have anything else with you, just get Himalayan salt, which is the pink salt. I love that. Um, I do not find the same effect with table salt or the white salt. Uh, use the pink Himalayan salt, the powder. Uh, I also recommend people to add a few things in it. You know, crush an entire lemon, make it into a full chutney, the rind and the middle of the lemon. Um, you know, add vinegar, add coffee, you can add JBB. Uh, if you don't understand what JBB is, it's Jinx Breaking Bath. You can add one huge heap tablespoon into that mix. Uh, you can add coffee, like I said. You know, just make that concoction for yourself and then you can have a salt bath. But plain salt is not as effective because we have all kinds of weird energies in our aura that doesn't go with pure salt. Um, now, don't be surprised if you get a little bit of a body ache after a salt bath or you feel very sleepy or you just feel like drained. Now, it's because all of that mucky energy is gone and now you're ready to receive healing. Now, if you're not availing a healing on that particular day, I suggest that you follow one of my meditations on my channel, on my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist meditation, follow one of them. The angel meditation is great. Cutting cords is great. Um, any of the meditations, if you follow, just see what, what you feel like experiencing in that moment and follow one of the meditations and meditation also just fills you up with divine energies. So don't feel compelled to get a healing session. Uh, do meditation if need be, but do a salt bath before meditation. That's my recommendation. All right. Happy meditating and happy salt bath. Bye guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel.